It's a new day and I would be lying if I said that I was filming this clip in the morning. It's currently 2.41 p.m. and I just showered and uh, washed my hair and stuff but no, I actually did wake up this morning. I woke up at 9.30 a.m. and I actually poured a whole bunch of candles and now I'm finally taking my break slash getting the rest of my day started. <laughs> visit Tina right now because she's literally there 5 to 10 p.m. so I've actually never been to Calgary City Hall so I don't really know what to expect for the market there but I'll vlog when I get there okay, so I think I got here I don't really know there's like people performing at the ice rink so let's go take a look you can use any spots you know like but all I have charms in this randomly stumbled across this market for Shuna class. I think it's different than the one Tina's at. She's like across the street, so I'm gonna head there now. But the announcer just said it would be 20 minutes till something else is happening, so I'm gonna leave. Hey, I'm at City Hall. They have this weird art installation. It's like a bunch of balloons. But anyways, I think it's here. I've literally never been to this building before. Made it. I see people. And the market is in City Hall in this atrium. 
and there's people just everywhere. I just get by two things. I will show you guys when I'm not walking around, but it was another mug, but I had to support, so. Anyways, I'm gonna try to find Tina now. I've actually never been to a market collective. I came in through that door there, and I came straight to see Tina, but I got sidetracked, as you guys know. And I ended up stopping at this booth here, Susu. And I picked up two items, so this is what I got. I got this mug, but Tina says I should use this as a planter instead. But isn't this better for like drinks? There's no handle. It's, it's supposed to be no handle though. Like you know like those like matcha cups that are like... Okay, whatever. And then she gifted me this free dumpling. It was so cute. She does hand building, which I commend her for because I do wheel throwing and I'm too precise with it, but hand building is more fun. Anyways, this is Tina. Tina. This market's dead. Yeah, it's like really quiet here. Kayla's lucky if she didn't do this one. Actually, I don't know. Look at all the people now. <laughs> They're just cutting through the building. <laughs> She's like at the end too. It's really weird. So there's like. There's like no one on either side of so it got much yeah. better. So, anyways. I just came to say hi, but I ended up spending money which I shouldn't have spent. I just finished visiting Tina and I'm going to head home now. But look at this, all the lights are on because it's so dark already. I was only there for like half an hour, but the sun sets pretty fast. Also, the event that I saw earlier is actually the Chinook Blast. I didn't know it was going on, so... I'm not gonna attend though, I'm just gonna go home. Good morning everybody, it's Sunday, which means it's day two of the cuties market today. I actually just brought another case of candles because I needed to restock on a couple of scents and I also got a request to bring some of the shortbread cookie candles which I had during Christmas but I discontinued them because it was seasonal but um, luckily I actually took some candles back from a retail store who hasn't opened yet so I had five extra candles for that scent so I'm just bringing them today uh, but yeah, yesterday I feel the market was busy traffic wise, but in terms of sales it was a bit slower than usual. So hopefully today will be a little bit better than yesterday, but I'm thinking maybe people are out of town for the long weekend or they just don't have a reason to purchase something because it is like an odd time of year. It's past Valentine's Day, but no one really buys anything for St. Patrick's Day which is the next holiday so anyways I am going to head down to Good Thrift which is where the market is being held Monday which means it's family day here in Canada so I actually get the day off work since it's a stat holiday and I also have a friend visiting town because she's on reading week so I'm gonna go to my favorite cafe in Calgary I'm sure you guys already know about it by now but it's Ansem Floral Cafe guys I just parked and the cafe is right behind me but I wanted to show you my first outing with my new bag it looks kind of weird right now because I have stuff in here. My camera, my wallet, and I guess also my car keys. It's so cute and it's really cozy for spring. I absolutely love it. It's from my friend Janelle who runs her shop called Coco J Crochet. And this is the smallest version. You can get different sizes, but I adore it. Anyways, I think Natasha's here, so I'm gonna go head on in.
as you saw this morning i got my nails done at a new salon she's actually home based and i got recommended to her from my friend celine but i wanted to show you guys a close-up of my nails because i'm absolutely in love okay this is what they look like I wanted something pink and something girly so I have bows and sparkles and actually if you look closely I don't know if you can tell but there's 3d gel on here so if you run your fingers across it actually has um, some tactile effect this is my other right hand it's so beautiful so thank you so much Heather for doing this nail set I absolutely love how it turned out Oh yeah, now that I'm home from the nail salon, I just ate lunch and now I'm ready to edit a vlog. Probably the next video because I don't know if this footage will be in it. But yeah, I'm just at my desk and actually I don't know if you can tell but the background is different as well. I had like a midnight crisis the other day and i just started moving all the furniture in my room and reorganizing but i think that this layout is a lot better in terms of using my space because i put this table um beside each other it used to be like behind me there and then i put the two bookshelves together and honestly it just makes the room feel so much larger as well because i'm not like boxed in at my desk area but yeah, so that is why the background looks different. I didn't vlog because it was literally midnight on a Thursday and I had to go to work the next day. So I was like trying to rush to get everything done. But yeah, I also was on Pinterest and I found like the deep dark hole of desk setups. And now I really want to make my desk look a lot better because it's literally just plain right now. There's nothing here. And like, I've been seeing so many videos of like cute, I don't know, like desk pads and shelves and plants, etc. So hopefully I can do that sometime in March. Um, and then I will show you guys the finished results. So keep me to it because knowing me, I'm probably gonna forget to show you guys or I'm just gonna put it off. But I really want to make my little office space a little bit cuter. I feel like when I'm not doing a market, somehow I still am super busy. I literally am doing the laundry and the dishes, just like other household chores today as well. So. I need to actually make more candles this weekend while I have time. I'll show you guys. Currently, I started prepping these candles, but I still need to wick them and also, of course, pour them. So, this is the situation. I'll probably do this either tonight or tomorrow. While I was in my desk decorating mood, I literally bought a desk pad on Amazon last night. So let's open it together. I wanted my room theme to be pink and green. So since my keyboard is already green, I want a pink one. This is the color. So far, I really love it. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it feels not how I expected, but maybe this is what you get for $10. I do like it. Let me show you. It's really large, but I think that's a good thing. I'm just trying to fit it on my... So this is what it looks like. Honestly, I quite like it. Um, I'm going to wait for it to unravel a bit so that the corners lay flat. But I like the color and I like the texture. Underneath, it's actually suede, so it doesn't damage your desk, and it's actually um, anti-slip as well. So, and I was reading online that people are actually using this as a mouse pad as well, so I don't have to get something separate. I don't know. What do you think of this color scheme? Pink and green. I feel like that's also low-key my business colors, but it's just the two colors I like the most. <laughs> so, okay. I'm satisfied for $10, I can't complain. Okay, I just changed and I'm ready to head out and this is the outfit that I'm wearing today. 
I'm literally an outfit repeater, but once I find something I like, I just always wear it. So the sweater is from Aritzia, my t-shirt is from Lucan, Jenim is from Levi's, which is like the perfect length for me, even though I'm 5'2", and my bag is from Kos. Okay, I'm going to head out and I'll see you guys at the cafe. <laughs> on my doorstep this morning and I was thinking to myself what could this possibly be until I unboxed it and I have to show you guys because I'm super excited um, it's something for my small business um, and it's a pretty big investment item so of course you guys know that in order to make a candle I have to melt the wax and that has been one of my biggest struggles in terms of production recently because my current wax melter is really small. So I can only make eight candles at a time, I believe, with the amount of wax that it melts. And then I have to add in fresh flakes and wait another 20 minutes for it to melt again. So I have finally have a solution and I wanna thank 2Auto for sending me a new wax melter. So I already unboxed it, but I wanted to show you this is the new one. It's five liters. It's literally massive. Look at my head size in comparison. And I'm just so thankful to have this new tool because this will help me speed up everything. And finally, I can make things and not worry about having only eight candles available at my next market. So the good thing about this wax melter is that it also came with some unexpected goodies so it came with this long mixing spoon i guess because it's like the size of this melter that we need which is perfect because if they didn't have this i wouldn't have anything this long they also gave me some extra wick um adhesives they gave additional wicks which is kind of crazy i don't know if i'll use these specifically because i use wooden wicks but in the future i might have a use for these and then they also gave me a ton of wick centering tools and these are super helpful when i used to make the bubble candles because i needed to make sure those wicks were absolutely perfect so thank you so much to Auto again. You guys can click the link in my description bar to go and check out this product. Matcha, matcha, strawberry Sugar. cream, tiramisu, and then Oreo cream cheese. It looks so good. Uh -huh. Is it? 
just got back from Ikea and I thought I would show you guys my little haul. I went there expecting to get a couple of things and of course I came home with a few more than expected so yeah. I originally went there for this. They're like brackets because I have some floating shelves I want to put on my wall but I wanted to tie in the color from my bookshelves. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's literally the same exact wood and color. So I got four for my two floating shelves. I got some more trivets because I use these for my hot wax pots. I also got this mini wooden crate. So I have to assemble it, but it was so cute on the display and it was pretty cheap. It was like $12. And then of course I went to the plant section and pink is my color so of course I had to get this pot it's pretty large so I don't really know what I'm gonna put in here quite yet especially because all the plants I bought in the last month are already dead so I had a solution <laughs> I got a fake plant this one's pretty small it's like the size of my hand but it was literally 99 it was 99 cents so I couldn't pass it up and I think this would just look really cute on my little shelf so yeah that's everything I got at Ikea um, I also went to Greedy Donut Cafe um, beforehand and that was really fun I love going there because the drinks and the donuts are so good but I think right now I'm just going to relax a bit and then I have to start making candles for my next market so Thank you. 